Hi, I'm Michelle Daniels. Welcome to my kitchen. Well, I had big plans this week since I missed week one of side dishes. So I had all these plans, all these recipes, and life got in the way. Yesterday I wound up rescuing a baby squirrel from imminent demise in the middle of a busy street. And because I did that, I had to simplify some of my recipes and I came up with this great creamy cornbread, which is what we're gonna make today. So I'm gonna go preheat my oven to 350 and I'll be right back. Okay, I've preheated the oven to 350 and now I'm gonna start making the creamy cornbread. I called it creamy cornbread because it features Philadelphia brand cream cheese. First thing we're gonna do is we're going to use some self-rising cornmeal. Now, not everybody can get self-rising cornmeal, which is something that I found. I can't always get it, so I've learned to make it myself, and it's really, really easy. I've already started a batch, but you take a cup, well, three quarters of a cup, plus three tablespoons of cornmeal, and then you've got a tablespoon of baking powder, and you have a half a teaspoon of salt, and you just mix that up, and you have self-rising cornmeal. Okay, well, I was gonna continue making the cornbread, but as I said earlier, life happens, and my cat has now joined us in the kitchen. This is Marley. Marley, smile for the camera. Now, he doesn't feel like smiling, but anyway, I'm gonna continue on with the cornbread. Hopefully, he won't do anything embarrassing back there. All right, so we're gonna take a cup of the self-rising cornmeal that we just made, and we're going to put it in our bowl, and then we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients. To this uh, cornmeal, we're gonna add 14 ounces, which is a small can of creamed corn. Marley's trying to steal the show. Gonna add three eggs. I'm gonna throw in a quarter of a cup of chopped green chili. I'm going to throw in a third of a cup of canola oil. And now I'm gonna add four ounces of softened Philadelphia cream cheese. Well, this is where the creamy comes from. It's gonna make it really moist and it's going to be wonderful. It'll probably be more like a souffle than it will be just regular cornbread. I'm gonna mix all of this together. It's kinda of nice. This is a recipe that I have not made before. And I love trying new things. This has a lot of the things that my husband and I both enjoy. Um, we both enjoy cornbread and we love green chili. So this should be really, really good. And then I'm going to throw this into my preheated oven and it's gonna bake for 20 minutes and that's it. Okay, here we have the cornbread looks beautiful, smells incredible. And you just need to make sure that it's done. Poke in a pick and if it comes out clean, it's done. Now, baking times will vary depending upon your oven and depending upon where you are. And I said it was gonna take 20 minutes, I had to add 10 minutes. So it really took 30 minutes, but still that's pretty quick. It gave me enough time to make the rest of my meal. Okay, this cornbread is going to be a perfect accompaniment, perfect side for my meal. I made a just a barbecued pork and a nice little salad, and then we're going to put some cornbread on the plate. Oh, it's coming out beautifully. And as it was baking, it was kind of nice. I saw some of that cream cheese bubbling up. It was beautiful. Okay, I can't wait to try this. Mmm. 
It's really good. You can taste the chilies. And the corn, the cream corn that I threw in there is still crunchy. And it's really, really creamy with that cream cheese that I added. This is really good. And too bad my husband is the cameraman because he may not get any. It's really good. Remember how I said the cornbread was going to be more like a souffle? That's exactly what it is. It's tender, it's moist. That cream cheese has really added an element to it that makes it very creamy and luscious. It's not at all like your typical cornbread. It's not um, crumbly. It's very, very flavorful, very creamy, very moist, and it's really, really delicious. You know, sometimes when life gets in the way, it's not such a bad thing. If I hadn't been rescuing a baby squirrel, I never would have come up with this recipe. So I'm really glad. I'm just going to put the finishing touch of some barbecue sauce on my pork here, and then we're ready to eat. I couldn't be more pleased, though, with the way this cornbread turned out. It is so moist that I'm going to add cream cheese to cornbread every single time I make it. It just adds that, that added element that takes it from cornbread to something exquisite.